Hi everyone, welcome to Dragon Image. Today I'm here to show you the semi-permanent background support system from Dragon Image. This background support system holds three backgrounds and doesn't require drilling, screwing or any of those installation to actually be installed into a venue. So let's take a closer look at everything that makes up this kit. Okay, so here we have our auto pole. So what the auto pole does is it pushes between the floor and the ceiling and that pressure prevents it from being able to come down. So if you, uh, at the moment we've got a concrete ceiling, but if you're in an office block and you have like a floating ceiling, what you can normally do is you can just slide one of the tiles over and then usually above that floating ceiling is a uh, concrete ceiling. So that just allows you to put these up. So all we do is put this in roughly the right place. If you're off by a little bit, it's not that big of an issue because the, um, uh, the actual expands that I'll be showing you later will allow for some variation in that. So all you need to do is push down on that and then lock that off. At this point here, you can get like a spirit level and check it, but you know, normally you can just do it kind of by eye. So here we have the triple hooks. The triple hooks are what will be holding the backgrounds. These particular hooks can be either ceiling mounted or wall mounted, um, which means that you don't actually need the, the actual auto poles when you're putting them into a permanent kind of position. But in this case, because we're trying to keep it portable, we're going to use a pair of super clamps and mount them to the poles themselves. Okay, so here we have the super clamps, and the super clamps have two kind of screw points on there, and you see there's two holes on the top of the triple hook. So all you need to do is find the appropriate screws, and you can always get them from us, and all you do is put them through, and with a Phillips head screwdriver, you can tighten those up, sorry, you can tighten those up, and mount them to the auto poles. Okay, so here we have the super clamp screwed on to the actual triple hooks. And what I normally like to do, I like to leave about 10 centimeters above that just to give the backgrounds a little bit of space, or depending on how high your ceiling is. And all you do is tighten that on. And once you can tighten that on, you can kind of see that that's nice and secure. Um, if you start putting backgrounds on there, what you'll notice is this actually starts to bend. So what we've got is we've got this little spacer, which actually slides onto the bottom of that and so when the backgrounds go on, that cups the auto pole, meaning you haven't got any of that bend. Now let's get the other one on and start putting the backgrounds on. Okay, so here we have our background. Today we're using a Stinger Green background, but there are other fabric backgrounds you can use. You can put X-Bands directly into cardboard cores, but what we find with humidity and so forth, if you've got a background up for a long time that's not being used, it might start to bow in the middle and then you end up with a crease going straight down the center. So what we've done is we're using aluminum tubes today and that will stop that from happening. Okay, one of the things that you'll have to do with aluminum tube is the aluminum tube is slightly uh, smaller than the actual cardboard core, in which case if you don't do anything, the, the cardboard core will slip. So what I normally do is I just get some tape. Now we have to find the beginning of the tape. There we go like this. What I do is I put that on there and actually thicken up the tube a little bit and that will just grip the inside of the cardboard meaning it won't slip. So now I just feed that in. So now if I turn it, it's holding on to the inside of the cardboard. Okay, so the next thing you have are X-bands. So the X-bands are the parts that go into the sides that then slip into the actual triple hook. Um, X-bands do what they say. As you turn this knob here, these two pull together and the in on this part expands, holding on to the inside of the aluminum tube. There are two parts. There's one side that has the actual gear, which the chain goes onto, and on the other side, it's basically just the guide, and this little controller is used to adjust the tension so the roll doesn't roll down by itself. So let's hit this up and put it up. Okay, so here we have the X-Band. Uh, imagine this is up there. You can either put this on before or after you mount them. Um, I like to put the chains on at the end. So all you need to do is roll that around via the gear. And then on the other end, there's a little nook and they just click together. Um, the 
chains themselves come in a variety of different colors, but unfortunately they're kind of random. You don't really get to pick them. Um, and they come with supplied weight, which keeps them nice and taut as you roll. If you do end up in a situation where you've got knots and stuff like this, uh, this particular one isn't that hard to undo, but you can actually pull them apart at any link, making it easier to untangle. Uh, these chains are also available in uh, metal, like these ones here. If you do want metal ones, you just gotta remember that they don't come apart like the plastic ones, so they are a lot more difficult to kind of untangle. And the other thing is you'd have to physically remove this entire thing, slip that out, feed it onto the gear, and then go from there. Okay, so we've got our backgrounds up, we've got uh, one fabric and two papers. With the paper, one thing to remember is they're consumable. So as they get dirty, for instance, we've got the grey up here that's been used for a while, so sort of roll that down and you might see that it's a bit tattered or something like that. All you do is cut some off and roll it back down. So you've got to remember that these are 11 metres long and it's usually only the first kind of metre and a half that kind of gets dirty. So once that does happen, don't be afraid to cut it. And obviously when you get to the end of the roll, just order a new one. That way you're always working with a nice fresh roll of paper and you don't have to worry about post-production in regards to getting rid of any scuff marks or stuff that you just ignored at the time. Thanks. <laughs>